So this is the new stainless steel potting bench. We've had it made up specially by a local tradesperson and he's done a little rolled edge corner to make it sit nicely over the edge of our bench. We've got sides up here, it's about 30 centimetres high, that will allow um, me to push potting mix and things up against the edge and not have it go over the sides, which is really difficult to keep clean and tidy and hygiene is really important in nursery. A nice high back for pushing potting mix up at the back. And the sides are sloped, or this side is sloped down so that I can move across with plants, take, putting them in and out of trays. So it's, uh, it's an ideal piece of gear and John's just installing it for me now. And now we get to unveil the new potting bench. Stainless steel has a protective layer to, to keep it smooth and undamaged while you're working with it. And we're peeling off the last bit now to reveal the new potting bench. Drum roll. Smooth, lovely, perfect working surface. There we go. Nice. So now I have my new stainless steel potting bench installed and ready to use. Before you use any material, whether it's a wooden table with some plastic over the top, which makes a really good potting bench, or whether you've got something custom made like this, it's really important to first of all sterilise it or, or clean it as much as possible to reduce pathogens which reduce the risk of plant diseases being passed from one plant to another. It, nursery hygiene is a really, really important thing. It's very similar to working in a kitchen. So the easiest thing I find to use is methylated spirits. Ideally use it in a spray bottle because you can spray tools and then let them evaporate. So it's very good for pruning tools in um, fruit tree pruning times. But I'm just going to put some onto a cloth. It's also very easily available and quite cheap. So it's a good sterilizing 98% um, uh, ethanol, 96% I beg your pardon. So I'm just going to use this to wipe the potting bench down. It's going to evaporate, leading to some fantastic views. <laughs> I'm like sucking on alcohol. I wipe my little snips. Now we sell those on our website. They're really good foraging and, pre and harvesting snips, but they're also brilliant because they're long. They're really, really good for pruning roots. So ideal when you're potting things up or you're um, you know, at any time when you're putting up cuttings or plants. So now we're clean and ready to go.